Today's video is meant to bring awareness to an issue that is affecting a number of the passport bros in particular based off of the content that has been showing up online. It's an issue that is not talked about too often, but we must discuss it because it deals with travel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified of uploads. Let's be clear. This is not just an issue that men have to be aware of. It's something women traveling must also be aware of. But we focus primarily on the men because we get growing numbers of men in America leaving the United States to travel and partake in a particular kind of tourism that oftentimes is referred to as sexual tourism. So on this side of the globe, the popular places, the Dominican Republic, Brazil, and Colombia are the hot spots for largely men. However, because of the proximity and popularity, these places also attract a lot of women as well. I want to focus in particular on Colombia because there are hundreds, if not thousands of reports from various travelers, primarily men, but inclusive of women, reporting having been drugged while visiting Colombia. Some people have said there are even some Facebook groups where they've talked about how rampant the problem really is and that so many incidents don't even get reported because a lot of people tend to be embarrassed. Well, one of my best friends who frequently visits Colombia, this is about his sixth time here in Colombia, but this time uh, the situation turned out quite different. Literally, as soon as he landed, got to the airport, on his way from the airport to the hotel, he got robbed. Everything. They took everything. Over $3,000 worth of cash, passport, credit cards, IDs, iPhone, AirPods, Gucci glasses, everything. But when it comes to Colombia, places like Medellin, Cartagena, uh, I would say Bogota is probably like more third on the list, are popular tourist spots for Americans visiting the country. You may wonder why is this happening in larger numbers, specifically in Colombia? The short answer is due to the drug called Devil's Breath. Devil's Breath is derived from the flower of the borrachero shrub common in the south american country of colombia the seeds when powdered and extracted through a chemical process contain a chemical similar to the drug scopolamine it gets the name devil's breath because it causes immediate zombie-like side effects by blowing it into someone's face it's also common for people to get it slipped in their drinks as well. Basically what is happening here is that we have this spiritual tree that has been used for a while for our indigenous people and now it's turned into a very, very, very bad weapon against people just to take the, their belongings and, and stuff like that. Let's say Dementia wants to rob a man for all he's worth. He'll spot his target, perhaps a businessman boozing at a local nightclub without a care in the world. The kind of guy with a Swiss watch and a Platinum American Express card, both of which he loves to flaunt. When nobody's looking, Dementia will stroll toward his target with a smile, wearing a casual t-shirt and shorts. Hardly the most intimidating outfit for a hardened criminal, but you don't need to look scary when you have the devil's breath on your side. It's a fine, white powder similar to cocaine in appearance, but its effects are an order of magnitude more potent. Dementia taps his mark on the shoulder, and when the yuppie turns to him, Dementia raises his hand, a scoop of devil's breath nestled in his palm, and blows it into the victim's face. By this point, it's already over. With just that flash, the person is totally drugged. You wait a minute, and when you see it kick in, then you know that you own that person. You can guide them wherever you want, it's like they're a child. This robbery truly is like taking candy from a baby. He tells the drugged businessman to get up and follow him, and the businessman does exactly as he's told without a single complaint. The two of them take an evening stroll to a local ATM and the businessman happily empties his entire bank account. After all, people high on the devil's breath aren't exactly famous for saying no. By the time the transaction is over, it's made the kind of score your average American stick-up man can only dream of, and he did it without even carrying a weapon. 
we want to bring awareness to this issue because you must be in the loop and be careful when you're traveling and looking to link up with people from some of the countries where you do not know the lay of the land. In particular, with Colombia, many of the men tell a similar story about how they were drugged. I told people previously, man, uh, I had a uh, bad experience to start off my trip in uh, Colombia. I pre-gamed on Tinder before I got to Cartagena. I was drugged and robbed in Medellin, Colombia. And this was very, very scary. It all started on Tinder. I met somebody uh, a few days ago, we hung out. Um, the person said they just wanted to just chill and watch a movie, and then bam, that's when this drug happened to me, okay? As you can see, a common thread is they linked up with women on Tender. If you have not heard the stories of how these men ended up being drugged, the last few minutes of this video will allow you to hear a bit more detail on how they ended up being drugged and robbed. Share this video with anyone you know who loves to travel. It's important to bring awareness to this issue. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine this, you wake up one morning, you reach for your cell phone on the side, and your cell phone isn't there. And then you go to put on your clothes, but your clothes aren't there. And you don't know what time it is. And you don't know where you are. And you walk outside, and all of a sudden you don't have the keys to your front door. You go to your regular place, and the National Guard, six National Guard people are sitting there just waiting for you. And the embassy is ready. And these National Guard guys have helmets on and they got bulletproof vests and they got machine guns and they're ready to go. And you're thinking, what just happened? Well, what just happened was you're a missing person and you don't even exist anymore. You're a John Doe and you're a refugee in a country that you didn't expect to be in. And that's what happened to me. I had connected with a lady and you know we're messaging for a bit and she's like hey you know let's hang out we met hung out for a bit and next you know like hey you know what you know let's you know go back to my place now this is where i messed up when i went to the restroom is when i believe my drink was spiked i left my drink i came back i take a swig uh we're talking a little bit more right and you know we're laughing right i just happened to wake up the very next morning what happened right honestly i don't know i don't remember a thing it's my first mistake i run into this chick in the club right that i've been talking to on tinder i'm thinking this is this is this is it right here this is gonna be me i'm nightcap so i uh tell her to hold my drink as i'm walking right all of a sudden like I start to hear myself breathe, right? I start to hear myself breathe, and then I stopped, right? I stopped. I start to hear my heart beat, right? My hands start hurting. 